27 million dollars. That's how much Minneapolis paid in a settlement with the family of George Floyd. In Louisville, the city paid 12 million dollars to the family of Breonna Taylor. Attorney Ben Crump negotiated the settlements in both cases. He also represents the family of Tyree Nichols. It sends a message that the unjust taking of black life will no longer be written off as trivial. It's not automatic. The city's going to have to pay any money, but uh, uh, we are going to have to defend legal claims. To be clear, Mayor Jim Strickland says he can't comment on pending litigation, but he acknowledges the reality. Many cities involved in high-profile police killings have settled with families. If that's the case, here's what Memphis has to offer. The city's budget is already tight at about $750 million. The police department gets 38 percent, with officials budgeting $1.25 million for lawsuits. Where is the rest of that money going to come from if a lawsuit gets settled at more than $1.25 million. I do not know. Taxpayers also stand to shell out for lawsuits from others, like this one for $5 million already filed by Monterius Harris, related to his encounter with the same officers now charged in Nichols' death. I imagine that any civil lawsuit seeking damages brought by the family of Tyree Nichols will be settled quickly and for a substantial amount of money. Joanna Schwartz is a professor at the UCLA School of Law. She specializes in police misconduct and civil rights litigation. She says any forthcoming Nichols settlement will likely be unique because Memphis legal policy makes it tough for people to hold police accountable. She says the city does not indemnify officers, meaning it won't back an officer if they get sued. Officers don't pay because they are they are without the kinds of assets that a plaintiff and their lawyer in these cases uh, would uh, consider a, a deep enough pocket to, to bring a case against. What's more, she says lawsuits don't promote long-term change in police behavior. There have been studies done that show that the threat of being sued is not among the top 10 thoughts entering uh, the minds of most officers. Instead, she says the involvement of the Department of Justice and reform do the most to create change. Nichols' mother is asking for exactly that. No mother should go through what I'm going through right now. In Louisville, part of that city's settlement with Breonna Taylor's mother included changes in the way they conduct search warrants and respond to emergency calls. Schwartz predicts a settlement in the Nichols case could also include legal reforms. It seems like there's been a lot of attention toward these so-called elite units. And I am guessing that uh, in the near future, there will be a rethinking of those units.